Hello viewers, welcome again to the MOOC course on Internet of Things Design Concepts and Use Cases. In this video, we will learn how to interface the water level sensor with Arduino board. Now, as the diagram shows, the sensor that is water level sensor has three pins, one is your VCC, another is your ground and third one is your signal. That you can see there are three pins, one is your signal, another is your ground and third one is your VCC. So, this sensor is connected to the Arduino board. For example, the VCC is connected to the 5 volt, again GND that is ground is connected to the GND pin and the signal is connected to the any other analog pin that is A0, A1, A2, A3, A4 or A5. Now, we have connected to the A0 or A0. Now, when we connect this water level sensor to the Arduino and Arduino is connected to the uh, system or your laptop, then we uh, can see that output of the uh, Arduino programming you can see in the serial monitor. How you can see the difference when we will uh, dip this sensor in this water then you can see the difference that if it is going down then how the water level value is increasing, when it is going up then how the water level is decreasing. We will show you with the help of the programming. Now next we can show also this water level sensor with the help of buzzer. Now how it will act that if we give some threshold value, it may be 500, may be 600, may be 700, we will fix up in a programming. Now if the water level increases that threshold value, how the buzzer will beep. So this is the buzzer, here we have shown the 2 pin buzzer, but we will show you with the 3 pin buzzer where the signal pin is also available. Now, let us go to the programming. Now, we will directly go to the programming. Now, this is the programming of water liquid level sensor with Arduino. This program is for uh, water liquid level sensor with Arduino. As uh, it has been written that in the setup that we have written that serial dot begin 9600 that is your baud rate how we have set up the baud rate. In the loop function just we are writing that analog read A0 as you know that there are 5 pins, 6 pins A0 to A5 analog pins are there and water value is your we are getting as an analog value. So, we are reading that analog value with the command analog read and it is coming to the val, val is your variable integer type of variable. And after that we are writing that serial dot print as your water level and serial dot print ln the value actual the va variable value and after that we are giving the 2 second delay and correspondingly that will be in a loop. So, here now again we are connecting this into the USB port right. When we will connect to the USB port we will check in the tools that whether the port has been selected or not and whether the Arduino Uno is selected or not. So, you are seeing that it is in the board Arduino Uno is selected and in the port COM8 is selected. Now, we will uh, upload or we will verify and upload. Let us verify again. So, when we will say verify it will show you that compiling sketch right after compiling it will show that done compiling. So, it will show that after compiling it will show the output as you are done compiling with no error, if there is no error, yes it is showing that done compiling and there is no error in that. Now, we will come to the upload. So, during uploading again it will compile and finally, it will show you that done uploading. When you will see that message has come that done compiling, it is uploading and done uploading. Now, we will see in the serial monitor, you can just see the output that it is giving that water level 0, because we have not connected the sensor anywhere. Now, let us use the sensor and we will dip into the water. Now, it is seeing 
that water level 433, water level 369, water level 419 like this, it will increase right and if we it is going up then automatically the water level will go down 370 and like this. When it will come out then of course, the water level will give 1 and after that it will give 0. So, this is uh, how the water level sensor it can be used in many type of applications where uh, it is requirement that to check the what is the actual water level of the uh, container or something. So, in this we have the we have we have shown you that how water level sensor can be interfaced with the Arduino. And in the second project, we will uh, uh, show you that how buzzer can be attached with this sensor and uh, after that we will uh, use some threshold value and after when it will uh, exceed the threshold value, water level will exceed the threshold value, then the buzzer will beep. Now, let us see that how the buzzer is connected to the Arduino board and how we can program it. Now, in the program we have taken that buzzer pin is equal to 10 that means, the buzzer uh, in the buzzer the signal pin we will connect to the 10th pin in the Arduino board. And this is uh, um, uh, same that is your voice setup serial dot begin 9600 and pin mode we are giving that buzzer pin as your output. Now, in the loop that is your loop function, we are giving that analog read as A0 that will come to the value that is your uh, variable. Now, serial dot print as water level, serial dot print ln value that is same as before. Now, in case of buzzer, we have given the threshold value as 520. That is, if value is greater than 520, then it will write that. Uh, water level reach the desired level and correspondingly the buzzer pin will be high that means, it will be turned on and the beep will be we will hear the beep sound. And if it is less than 520 then it will uh, say that water level is low and the buzzer pin also will be low that means, there will be no beep sound. We have connected again the USB to the laptop as well as we have connected the buzzer. As I have told buzzer has three signal, one is your uh, VCC, another is your ground and another, another is your signal. The signal is connected to the 10th uh, pin because we have set the buzzer pin as equal to 10. Otherwise, the uh, sensors connectivity is same as before. Now, we will uh, go to tools and we will see that COM port is given or not, it is set that is your COM 8, board is Arduino Uno, it has been connected. Now, we will uh, upload this uh, program and after compiling it will upload and similar things we can see in the serial monitor as well as we can hear the beep sound when we will dip the sensor into the water. So, it is showing that done uploading, we can see the serial monitor output, it should give 0 because it has not been dipped into the water. Now, we will dip this sensor into water and we can see that how it will affect. You are seeing that it has been increased. Uh, uh, after 520, it has when it has reached to 596 or 609, the beep sound has been uh, heard by us. So, when it will be low, there will be no beep sound. The threshold value that depends on yourself that what should be the threshold value, it may be 500, maybe 700, maybe 1000. So, depending on the water level, it will the uh, you will hear the beep sound. So, in this video we have learned that how water level sensor can be used and how the buzzer can be beeped if the water level is increased from a threshold value. All these sensors and the buzzers and Arduino board are available in the market. The uh, viewers can uh, just uh, you can buy the uh, this uh, small equipment or small uh, 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 this buzzers and sensors from the market and you can try yourself this small projects can be used for real time applications also. Thank you so much.